afternoon, tubers. It's your crazy British bloke here. Well, I suppose you're wondering why, uh, why am I wearing one of these fluorescent jackets? Well, I've got a bit of a job on today. Um, it's actually not going to be hard work. It's going to be really boring. I'll show you when I get there. I'm just on my way over there now. Now, um, there was something I wanted to ask you lot. Now, I've been watching on my uh, on my channel um, a lot of the videos that get watched. Well, quite a lot, and there's there's a few of them that come up, and I don't know why. And they're in the analytics as well. They're like the top in the top ten sort of thing, and I can't make head nor tell why they're always there. I don't know why. There's one of them called um, DIY Bedliner. And it was uh, when I went over to Bobby's and he was putting that DIY bed liner in and made a right cock up of it. Uh, that's one of them. Joe cutting glass with scissors. Cutting glass with scissors. I mean, why Why do people go and watch that? And then there's uh, when Joe's kids were down. Um, mudding, go-kart mudding. I mean, and I don't understand why, whether it's what they're called or, or where they're placed in that but they all seem to be in the top 10 and I've no idea why I mean I've been studying that for the last few weeks and I, and I can't work it out I don't know if any of you got any gen on it or how it actually bloody works you know me, I'm a bit stupid when it comes to going forwards like that so I don't really know so I mean if there's any of you out there that can help me out, you know, leave a comment because eh? I haven't got a clue how it all bloody works and I wish I knew, I really do um Anyhow, I'm nearly, nearly where I got to go, so once I get there, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've got to do. It's quite funny, actually. I wish someone was there to film me. <laughs> right, so I'm here now. Let me show you where I am. I'm at the old condos again. Remember the place that I came and uh, tore all the ice off of? Well, right next to it is a school. Now, the other side of that fence is where people are supposed to park. They don't. They come in here. Now you can see that sign up there. Hang on, I've got Pugs at camera here. Let me zoom it in a little bit. Oh, how's this one work? Oh, there it is. There. And it says, no trespassing, private property. There's one there. And there's another one up here. Okay. Now, trouble is, all of these parking lots here are allocated to people. And they only get one. And, uh, oh. Don't know how to use this camera even. So they only get one, you know, per household, like the same at my place. And what's happening is people are coming to pick their kids up and they're parking in here. And that's not very good for people that, you know, on shift work and coming home in the afternoon. And there's people in their parking lots. And it's becoming a bit of a nuisance. So I'm down here officially with the jacket to hand out flyers saying that they've got till the end of this week to start finding somewhere else to park or they're going to be ticketed so that's my job now it looks like people are starting to turn up now and they're going in the other parking lot which I expect is going to fill up pretty quick and uh, maybe I'm going to have to get out in this snow and talk to some people ok well I'll uh, I'll let you know it goes. Maybe we can film some, eh? <laughs> we'll see. Well, all of a sudden it's got very busy. Let me show you. As you can see, the whole parking lot is now filled up with cars. And, uh, yeah, they're very rude. <laughs> That's all I can say. They don't like it. Don't like it at all. I mean, it's private property. And all I'm doing is giving them a, a flyer saying that they will be ticketed and they will be towed away if they continue to do it. So, I don't know. You know, you've got to think, they've they got to pick their kids up, but, I mean, this is where people live. When they come home with their shopping and their kids and that, you know, what are they going to do? Yeah, awkward situation, eh? I don't like being an arsehole either. I don't know how I got this job really. People are really rude though. Some of the things they've been saying to me. My God. And they're women as well. Can't believe it. 
Uh oh, looks like another one coming. Uh oh, better get out. Right, that's uh, what's the time now? It's about quarter to four, and it's all clear again now. I think all the kids have been picked up. Everybody's gone, they've all got a little flyer saying that it's private property. I got a list of cars that parked here. We'll uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Eh? Oh well, I'll talk to you when I get home. I'm going to cook chicken tonight. Right, tubers, I'm home now. Um, I was going to show you an absolutely great cooking show with chicken and tomatoes and all sorts of herbs and spices. But as you know, well, I don't know if you know, I'm using Pug's camera. He's other Sony, and he couldn't find the other charger for it. And I've got now. Oh dear, the minutes are going down and down and down and I need enough minutes on here so that I can actually get this off and into my computer because I think when the battery dies on this it might not take the program so I'm going to have to say goodbye now and uh, well, if I can borrow a charger somewhere maybe I can make some more films I'm still waiting to find out what's happening with my camera that's broken so, speak to you later, bye bye